Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow grasswaters farmers. Yeah, depending on the location. Yeah, I'm at the farm now, and uh, I've been saying something about inbreeding. Inbreeding can destroy a farm. Inbreeding can do so many things in, in grasswaters farming. Because when you are, you, you, they give you inbreeding animal, one day you will come to your farm, you will see that all the animals is dead. And inbreeding means you cannot cross a brother to a daughter. You cannot cross the two siblings. Any relative, any relative attached to each other cannot be able to be crossed. Anything relative, any siblings. That is the reason why a lot of people are losing a lot of money in grass cutters farming, yes. Then number two, the kind of wire mesh that they use, 90% use one by two and it's very, very wrong. The best wire mesh is half by half, mostly for the floor because if you are using one by two, their leg will be entering inside and they, if they did not calculate very well when they are jumping up and down, all their legs will break. Yes, it's, it's very, very bad. And number three is, you know how to cover your ventilation. Because once you get the, the kind of, uh, uh, the way that the uh, hair is normally entering your farm. Some people are doing open farming. That is why I always shouting about farm practice. Some people are doing open planning, farming. When you go to the, their cage, all their cages are outside. So, and they totally, uh, those people that is doing a blockage uh, because sometimes I normally ask the question to know where I'm going to give you your animals whether it's in blockage or in wooden cage because in blockage it, it is not easy for animal that's in a blockage to adapt in the wire mesh cage yes but the animal that's in wire mesh cage can adapt very easily in in blockage because blockage did not have any hole at all the only disadvantage is that you will be cleaning it al almost every day in blockaging. Yes, but in wire mesh, you can leave it two days. Yes, getting to the three days, you can clean it up, depending on the kind of food that you give them. When you give them any food that is very watery, mostly water grass or watermelon or pineapple crown, you have to do the proper cleaning the next morning to avoid the cage smelling. Yes, this is Grasswater's Legend Base. Yeah. Our number is 00 317 We are here. We are here. We are good to go. Yeah, yeah.